Peter from Chrisfarber.com. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to route the Samsung Galaxy Note GDN7000 and get a permanent clockwork mod recovery running on it. So, guys, uh, root is required if you guys need to, you know, run some root applications like uh, Titanium Backup or Ad Free and so on. And clockwork mod recovery is is required if you guys want to go ahead and flash custom ROMs. So, if you just want to go ahead and root the phone. You can uh, stop once we are done with getting uh, root. In, I mean, root on the phone. And if you want to go ahead and get clockwork mod recovery, you can follow this video till the end. All right. So just to show you guys, uh, I'm currently running uh, the LRQ firmware. All right. So that's LRQ. So guys, the first thing you do is go ahead, uh, hit link one, and download the super SU file from there. And transfer it to the external SD card. It will not work from the internal memory, so go ahead, get yourself a micro SD card, and download it and transfer it onto the external SD. So once you once you've done that, go ahead and hold the up volume, power, and the home buttons at the same time. Uh, you might end up taking a screenshot, but just keep holding them nonetheless. Uh, you can let it go once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed. Let it go. So this will take you to Android system recovery. All right. So now uh, just go to apply update from uh, external storage. Uh, again, guys, the uh, volume keys here act as navigation buttons and the power key acts as the selection button. So uh, select apply uh, update from external storage. And now just navigate to wherever you have the file downloaded in I mean, root underscore super su uh, that'll be the file so just hit power again just wait for it to complete all right now just go back select the double dots and hit reboot system now Alright guys, we're done here, so so now you can just go in and see you will have Super SU over here. Uh, just a second. There we have it, Super SU. So, if you guys just want root, you're done right now. If you have root and uh, none of your counters have been triggered, this is the safest method. So. You can stop watching the video here, just hit like and subscribe and uh, quit. But if you guys want to go ahead and get Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, follow on. Now head on over to the Play Store. And over here, hit the search show there and just search for Mobile Odin. Alright. So yes, Mobile Odin Pro is a paid app. So... Uh, I would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and purchase this because uh, uh, the app maker Chainfire has done a lot for the Galaxy Note community and uh, I would definitely suggest you purchase this app. But if you don't want to do that, go ahead Google for mobile loading uh, Lite. It is uh, available from XDA Developers Forum uh, for free. So go ahead, Google your best friend, get it. So just get this file, get this app, mobile loading Pro or mobile loading Lite either will work for this particular method here. Yeah. So once this is done, just hit open. You might be asked to download, I mean, you will be asked for a super user request, hit grant. And you might be asked to download something, hit download. Alright guys, now that's done, you can follow or whatever, hit uh, no thanks for now. What you need to do is go ahead and hit link to, and that will take you to this web page. Alright, so just scroll down, the Samsung Galaxy Note ICS download speed mod kernel. So scroll down and select the latest version, which as of today is K313. Uh, just make sure you select the CWM version, that's clockwork mod version. 
just download it and transfer it to the internal or external uh, uh, memories of your Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So I have it in the external SD card right now. Just hit open file, external SD, and uh, you will find speed mod kernel. Select it and just go down, hit flash firmware. Uh, you make sure your battery level is over 50%. Continue. Alright guys, we're up here. So first let's just see uh, what kernel we have running here. Heading on over to about phone. And there you say it's a speed mod. So let me, let's go ahead and reboot to recovery. And let's see if clockwork mod has been flashed. So keep holding up volume, power and home buttons till you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed. And now this will take you to uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, yes we have it there. So that's pretty much it guys for uh, rooting the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So uh, if you guys need any help with this or with Galaxy Note in general, uh, make sure you hit us up at our forums, cusperver.com slash forums. The link is in the description. And if you want to stay, uh, you know, stay updated on our latest works, uh, the latest video releases and so on, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. Plus. All my contact details are in the description again. And if you guys do want to do me a favor, use my links to Amazon from the description. If there's anything that you want to order online, just go through the links. It doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff. Just go through the links, search for what you want, order it, and I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks every time you guys place an order. So that's that. And uh, okay, I, I already have a few, um, what do you say, methods or uh, videos of few methods of fruiting the Galaxy Note. Why another method? If you have this question, it's because the last method, uh, the simplest one that I had uploaded, uh, it used a temporary clockwork mod recovery. And some people, uh, there are reports of issues with that, but me personally, I never ran into any issues. And to my knowledge, it's only when people actually do a factory wipe from the temporary clockwork mod recovery that uh, issues do pop up. But then again, a lot of people are a little wary on using the method and ask me to make another video of it. So uh, this is the latest method that people over, X, over at XTA developers forums are using and this is uh, the safest method available at the moment. So uh, here we are. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.